This video is for my students taking A-level electronics. Uh, we're going to be programming PIC16F84A microcontrollers. Um, my preferred way of doing this is to program the microcontrollers in circuit. That's ICSP, in circuit serial programming. So that means that we're going to put the PIC chip in a breadboard or in a permanently sorted up circuit and we're going to have the necessary connections so we can have the PIC kit. Uh, program the chip whilst it's in the board rather than taking it out, putting it in some form of header or development board, programming it and then putting it back in which is just a waste of time, not really going to be helpful to you at all. So in circuit serial programming using this um, you'll see that on one end there's a standard USB uh, mini B connector, just one of these cables does, and then on the other end there's a six pin uh, single in line header uh, which could uh, take these sorts of connections and um, you could use a male to male header like this and then fairly obviously so I won't waste too much time you could just plug it into there and then you could plug the other ends into your breadboard wherever you wanted. That's absolutely fine however if you're and you're likely as one of my students to be sharing one of these pit kits. We've got several of them, but not a quite class set. Uh, you're likely to be unplugging, plugging back in. Maybe you want to plug it in next lesson. So it's going to be convenient to you to have some easy way that you can just plug and unplug this um, to your circuit. So um, I s strongly recommend, in fact, pretty much insist you make up one of these adapters. It's a little bit of uh, soldering practice for you anyway. Let me just zoom in. Uh, it's really easy to make. It's on a piece of strip board. Um, this has uh, six connections. Um, the triangle points to pin one. Actually, we don't need the sixth connection, but it's a good idea just to use all six, then it will be mechanically uh, stronger. So, a um, little bit of strip board. Um, you can see that I've used uh, four by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, didn't need to be that wide, um, but uh, it can be if you want. Uh, certainly, it shouldn't be any less than six wide. Um, you might want to make it a little bit higher just so you can get a bit more purchase on it when you grab it. What I do recommend though is that you put only uh, one space between the angled header pins and the straight header pins because let me just uh, plug this in for you and you can see how it works. So it's going to plug in like that. Um, it's good to use that spacing I just mentioned a moment ago because then the pick kit will actually rest down on the breadboard. And let's just zoom out. I still wouldn't want you to press on that and that's not stable anyway but it would be easy enough for you to just find something else like another bit of breadboard and then that's quite solid so it's not going to give. I don't think these are going to be particularly strong and are made for a lot of waggling around so just be careful with them if you can. So that will be absolutely fine and you can plug in your USB there. Um, you're still going to need some jumper wires, either these or some short bits. Short bits are you know, going to look a lot tidier to go to wherever it is in your circuit that you want programmed. Um, but for the remainder of the video I'll just show you how to quickly solder up one of these. 